how the waste produced inside airplanes goes straight to landfill. The idea, born on a campus and perfected at Airbus in collaboration with its suppliers, caterers and airlines, triggered a solution to the growing waste mountain in the cabin. Five design students participating in the Airbus-sponsored Flyer Ideas University competition came up with a concept to recycle all that waste from liquids, plastic cups and paper. At the moment, most cabin waste is thrown away and ends up in landfills or incinerators. Airbus looked at the student's idea and said, it's good, it needs work, we can do this. We propose as a new recycling trolley called Retrolley which is based on a student's idea of the University of Sao Paulo. This reach trolley consists of different compartments for pre-sorting in the aisle, which enables recycling of waste. For example, you can distinguish between different waste uh, sorts in the main containers. And as well, there are three customizable modules, one to collect liquid, one to collect uh, and stack the cups, and one to crush the cans, and these modules can be customized according to the airline needs. The retrolley overcomes three key hurdles that hamper airlines' ability to recycle more. Cabin crew have to be able to pre-sort waste at source when going through the cabin, reduce the waste volume in small galley space and separate liquids. In our own life at home, pre-sorting and recycling of waste is already state of the art. But this is a little bit more difficult in the aviation industry Airlines would like to recycle more, and the REACH trolley is a concept which addresses all these three building bricks at once, and it's a very easy and also um, non electrical solution which can be integrated in the galley without any modification. An hour outside Rome, the family run cabin trolley manufacturer, Iacabucci, has now taken the REACH trolley to the next level mass production, testing, and marketing it with airlines and caterers. Retrolley is a very simple system because uh, it can be used for short flight and long flight. Uh, in, uh, for cabin service for short flight, perhaps they have more liquids to, um, to collect. For this particular reason, we are able to configure the Retrolley with uh, one, two or three beans specifically for cups and liquids. And for long flights, perhaps with uh, more boxes for uh, the different type of, uh, of waste that is generated on board. We've been working very closely with Airbus. Uh, our target is definitely to uh, certify this trolley for all Airbus platforms, uh, single aisle, twin aisle, in, uh, at the same time. Uh, especially because airlines in general, they, if they go for a solution like the retrolley, they will want to do it throughout the fleet. As air traffic doubles over the next 15 years, the issue of recycling waste generated in the cabin will become even more important and Airbus is determined to play its role in looking for greener solutions. Airbus is committed for the environment. It's in our DNA to propose innovative solutions to our customers to make cleaner and much more sustainable products for the transportation of tomorrow. That is really possible through uh, collaboration with involvement of all the different partners and then to extend, in fact, what we can do all together for a sustainable future. The Reed Trolley has come a long way from its student days. 40 airlines have expressed interest in equipping their fleets with it, especially as more than 5 million tonnes of cabin waste was generated last year alone. <laughs>